welcome to our kitchen. Today I'm going to make some bourbon balls, which is a special holiday treat in my family. My mom used to make these and it was probably my first taste of bourbon when I had a bourbon ball and still kind of like it today. Uh, it's simple, not too many ingredients, and uh, real quickly I'll just show you what goes into them. Pecans, bourbon of course, make it a nice grade bourbon because it's not cooked off. Some caro syrup, vanilla wafers, and powdered sugar and cocoa powder. So the first thing you want to do is to preset your oven to 325 or preheat it and put your nuts in there. We just want to get those lightly toasted. And you're going to crumb up your vanilla wafers. When I was a kid, we used to put them in a bag, take a rolling pin and smash them to a fine crumb. You can do that, but if you have a food processor, then you can put your cookies in there, which is what we're gonna do. I already have two cups of the crumbs and I need another couple of cups. So I'll show you how we do that. You just want this to be super fine crumbs like that and I'm looking for four cups. This next little bit of crumbs I'm going to throw in our toasted pecans in with that so we'll give it just a quick little whirl and I'm gonna wait because we're gonna flip our pecans so that they're toasted on both sides Take about another couple of minutes for those and you kind of smell for them if it has that you smell that nuttiness you know your nuts are finished and get them out of there because they burn super easily and nuts are really expensive so you don't want to burn burn them the next thing we could do while we're waiting is we're going to use caro syrup and a nice little trick is to just use some spray some cooking spray uh, in there because that'll help your caro syrup come out more quickly um, we want a half a cup. This is for a double batch, by the way, because we're giving these away as gifts, which is another good idea. A lot of people like to bake and then give the bakery goods away for a, you know, for a nice little treat for somebody else. Uh, another thing you can do while you're waiting is to put your cocoa powder and powdered sugar, this is about a half a cup of each, in a little bowl and just kind of whisk that together to get rid of any of the lumps. And then that's going to be what we dip our bourbon balls in. So that's ready to go. All right, smells like it's time to take our pecans out of the oven. Like I said, that was about five, six minutes. You can tell they're nicely toasted. That's what you want to look for, kind of a nice golden brown. I'm just going to toss them a little bit to kind of cool them before I add to my mixture in the blender. And then you want to throw them in with your cookie crumbs and we're away because we want this also to be kind of a fine crumb. Ah, looks perfect, smells great. So again, you have four cups of the crumbs. That was a, two cups, actually, of pecans. I don't think I mentioned that. And then we're going to throw this into a bowl. You can tell everything's just a real nice mixture. Pretty even and consistent. All right, now. This is the easy part. Just throw all this in together. So bourbon, like I said, uh, you do want something that you would drink. So this is, you know, not cooked out at all. So you definitely want a good flavor, one that you like. That's a half a cup. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw in my half cup of powdered sugar. 
and my half cup of cocoa. Just kind of whisk that all together. So we get the crumbs and the sugar and cocoa all mixed in first. And then we're gonna throw our wet ingredients together and add them in. You can tell that came out really nicely because of the cooking spray added. All right. Just mix those together a little bit before you add it in. Okay. Mmm, gosh, that smells so good. The chocolate, the roasted nuts, and that bourbon smell amazing. That's all there is to it. It's, it's pretty simple. Once you get all the ingredients ground up, it's, it takes no time. So that's another really nice part about making these is that, you know, we're busy during the holidays. And if you want to make something for somebody, this is something really quick. Because a lot of cookies take a lot more time. You have to, um, you know, sometimes make the dough ahead and then you have to put it in the fridge. And so that kind of is time consuming. Okay. Once the mixture looks about like that, finish adding the rest here. I'm going to add just a little bit more. You want to look to make sure that it's sticking together nicely. And although mine is, I'm still seeing a few crumbs. So I'm going to add just a little bit more bourbon. That couldn't hurt, could it? just because I want to make sure, I think I had a few more cookie crumbs. So this is one of those things that, you know, it doesn't have to be totally precise either. You just want to make sure that you've got all those crumbs coated. They want to bring the camera down here and we'll show everybody what this looks like. You can tell that it's ready to go. You're ready to start rolling when the mixture nicely smushes together like that. And then you want to take just, I don't know, what is that? Maybe a golf ball? No, it's not even golf ball size. It's a bourbon ball size. Bourbon ball size, yeah. Uh, and see how nicely that just rolled up? Uh, that's about the size you want. I don't know, it's like candy size. I don't know. Anyway, you can do a couple different things with this. The traditional way that my mom always made them is she rolled them in just plain granulated sugar like that, which I think is really pretty. You can also roll them in the mixture that we made with our cocoa powder and our powdered sugar and for, you know, a totally different look. And I kind of like to do both if I'm making a gift because, you know, it looks like you're getting more like a box of chocolates or something. So we're going to just continue rolling and making about a hundred of these. And then we'll show you what the whole tray looks like. Okay, we're down to the last four. And I had just a little bit left over. What am I going to do with that? Hmm. I like I remember them very good. Give these a try. They're easy and you're going to make somebody very happy.